Well, guys, Fuzzy here. Uh, I just outside walking around, and the temperatures dropped, and it rained, and it's down to like 39 degrees now. It's getting cold and very dismal outside, kind of like our uh, our uh, economy and our country right at the moment. But uh, I wanted to go over a couple things here. Um, kind of let it sink in if you can. This is all about world government, or better yet, it's uh, control. Now, back in the day, with Rockefeller, all his money and stuff, he could only go so far. So then they needed a new ve vehicle or a platform to work from, so they come up with the idea of getting all the rich people together, and they proposed this uh, Federal Reserve System of 1913. Well, that was okay, but it just wasn't enough control for the rich people. They wanted to go on to something else. And uh, Rockefeller was already pissed at the United States because uh, they broke up his monopoly and uh, you know broke up all the oil fields and stuff and put them into different uh, people's hands, and that pissed him off. So he's mad at the world, so he wants more control. So then he donates some land, he comes up with another idea. Donates some land, bring in this United Nations, you know, uh, under the guise of peace. And it was just a Trojan horse for more control, that's all it was. Just a Trojan horse, let people accept it, let it sit there kind of dormant-like until he needed it. But keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. So, anyway, then along come the Bush people. Well, the Bushes, they got pissed off at uh, at America too, at the government, because, you know, they confiscated uh, their grandfather's wealth there, and so they're they're still running around pissed off. And when when you want to enlist somebody, you know, to help you out with your agenda, well, you look up those kind of people, the kind of people that are pissed off at the at uh, at America. So he enlisted the Bush people. Okay. And all they're trying to do is give us their version of what they think America should be. You know, under their control, because, you know, they know what's better for you and me. So this just goes on and on and on, and it's, it's total control, that's what, all it is. It's just one thing after another. Now, uh, this United Nations people, we need to get this thing out of here. Now what you're looking at here, it says Cronkite wants world government. This is December 20th, 1999. It said popular news broadcaster Walter Cronkite, speaking before the United Nations recently, called for the international body to become a world government and for the United States to surrender its national sovereignty. First Lady Hillary Clinton stood by, hailing his remarks. Cronkite delivered a speech before the World Federalist Association, where he received the Norman Cousins Global Gover Governance Award. Uh, they met at the UN uh, on October 19th. We must strengthen the United States as a first step towards a world government patterned after our own government with a legislator, executive, and judiciary, and police to enforce its international laws and keep the peace. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. They keep staging all these little things all around the world, you know, it, it, first you have a, an action, then a reaction, you know, you, you can't uh, force people into something unless you create a problem, and then give them the solution to the problem they don't want. Uh, of course, it says here, to do that, we, we Americans will have to surrender some of our sovereignty. It will take a lot of our courage, a lot of faith in the new world order. He said, we cannot defer this responsibility to posterity. Time will not wait. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yep, 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 yep. This is, this is not good, people. Just just one thing. Here's something else from the UN. Uh, yeah, better hold this up so you can see what it is. Uh, U.S. Man and Biosphere Progress. Well, this is what this is another part of the UN. Uh, it's the U.S. Man and Biosphere Program. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but it's uh, effectively. 
uh, infecting everybody locally. Basically, the U.S. Mint is part of the larger U.N. program which sets aside certain lands on which they term World Heritage Sites. These sites are to be part of a conservative program, but which they apparently really do is evict people from the lands on which they live. These heritage sites have different zones in them, one called the core zone that cannot be used in any way by humans. Uh, one of these groups recently visited Yellowstone, and the end result was that a gold mine that was to operate six miles outside the park was prevented from being opened. And this was a company that had already spent millions of dollars cleaning up the results of previous mining efforts in that area. Uh, camping areas were severely cut back inside the park, and several property owners were to be bought out to increase the buffer zone surrounding the park. In 1993, President Clinton signed a treaty which would have set aside the entire United States as a biosphere with over half of it set aside for wilderness heritage sites of varying use. Perhaps this may sound like an overblown conspiracy theory, but there are various websites dedicated to educating the public as to the true aims of the of UNESCO program and its U.S. subsidiary. Uh, um, anyway, just, just gives you an idea. It's like, like here. You think you think 911 had to you know, like I said you got bushes pissed off at, at, at the world and you list these people and that's what the heck you get. Now this, this here, this is uh, October 7, 2001. Oil and gas riches of the Caspian region, major goal of war on Ontario terrorism. Okay, this happened for a reason. They want the Caspian Sea oil. They wanted to build a pipeline, people. I mean, everything happens for a reason. Nothing happens by chance. Get that through your head. We've got, if you want to get this country turned around, you're going to have to get off your butt and start doing something. Now, the, the United Nations, in case you don't know it, is a communist organization. It's a socialist organization. That's what I, um, Rockefeller and his group of idiots will go to any means by any vehicle, by any platform, to usher in the new world order so that they have control. They have the money, they want the control. They, they can buy a president, they can buy the world, and that's their agenda. Wake up, you know, let it sink in. This is where this is going. You've got to get, you've got to get the socialists out of the Congress and out of the, the Senate and especially out of the Supreme Court. You've got to get these communist people gone. Anybody who goes around uh, opening up their mouth, as soon as they mention anything about gun control, they're a socialist. They need to go. That's not what this country was founded on. We have a constitution. You have every right in this world, and no, nobody, I don't care, they can't take away your rights. No organization, no law can take away your rights. They can spout all the, the rhetoric that they want. They cannot take your rights unless you give them up. Don't let them, when somebody starts running their mouth about gun control, you yank them out of office. I don't care if they're a mayor or a governor or a senator or a congressman or a president. Yank them out of office. You find a way, any way. I don't care how you go about it, but they got no business in the United States of America. That Our freedoms have been eroded and eroded and eroded. That's the communist agenda. you got to wake up to that fact and fight it. Or you're not going to have any country left. Your kids are going to be living in Mother Russia, per se. Thanks for listening.